Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a quick little update to the Silver Weapons mod I've been working on. And right now I'm calling it Necrassen's Silver Weapons. I know, not very creative, but gets the job done. And it's really interesting because um, over in the Dark Fox Discord, someone put a message in there and said, I can't find any mods that for a special edition that have silver weapons. How come nobody's made a mod like that? And I was like, uh, I got one. So there's at least one person who can't wait for this mod to get on the Nexus. So I, maybe I will put it on the Nexus. I wasn't planning on it, but maybe I will. So I've been doing a little work to it and I've been adding a few little things. I've got some ingredients in here just to make things a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. There's some ingots and some soul gems and a bunch of other things. Right now we're going to head into the forge. We're going to see what kind of stuff we can make. Now as you know in the last video we were able to make a silver bow. And we still can. There's no perk requirement for this. You just need the materials. Three silver ingots. Leather strips. Boom. There it is. Now we also have silver arrows. Now these have a pretty healthy requirement. Six firewood and six silver ingots. This will get you 12 arrows. That seems really expensive. Six silver ingots for 12 arrows. But there's a reason for that. Let's go ahead and make a few of these. See, now that we've got one, we can make sun arrows. That's one of the newest additions to the mod. And that requires, as you can see, 12 silver arrows. You also need three ancestor moth wings and three torch bug thorax. Now these arrows are gonna have a similar effect that it's going to be kind of like those uh, exploding bolts you get with the Dawn Guard DLC. It's a flat 20 points of sun damage. It only affects the undead. And uh, I was trying to decide what ingredients that it was going to require to make these. And I thought, well, torch bug thorax, they kind of light up, so maybe, I, I don't know. It's... Torch bugs are not rare, it's just that there's only a small window of time in the evening when they're out and about, so you gotta grab them when you can. So they are kind of, they're not as plentiful as some. And since this affects the undead, it, it's kind of, I don't know, I, I, I look at those exploding bolts from the Dawn Guard DLC and how you get Oriole's bow, it does a sun damage and you get some of those sun spells, and I thought... You know, maybe I should have some kind of a, a Dawn Guard tie-in. So that's why I decided to go with the Ancestor Moth Wings. This is not something you're going to find anywhere. In fact, I think Ancestor Glade is the only place you can get these. And there are a lot of them in there, so it's not like you're going to go there and only get one or two. There's plenty of them, but you have to go there to get them. And it takes three of them. It takes three of the Torch Bugs, and you'll get 12 Sun Arrows. But these do an extra 20 points of sun damage, but only to undead. So that's the reason for the silver arrows. Let me make up a few more of these things. Now the silver arrows, initially the plan was... I was going to set the damage for those at 7... And then apply the silver weapon script, which is extra 20 points of damage to the undead. So if you use silver arrows against the undead, they're going to do 27 damage. But the silver weapon script applies, only works on weapons. And arrows are not classified as weapons, they're classified as ammo. So I've not been able to apply that script to these arrows. So that's when I said, okay, well I got two options here. If I was able to do that, I was going to set the silver weapons damage to 7, which is just one below iron, so it's not something you want to use every day. But if you're going against the undead, had the script been able to have been applied to it as 27 damage. So I thought, well, since I can't apply the script, I'll make 
the damage 27 but I'll make the cast uh, I'll make the uh, crafting very expensive but I decided to set to, to knock that down so the the arrows now do 17 damage instead of 27 as you can see 17 damage but if you have silver arrows and you get some torchbug thorax and some ancestor moth wings you can create the sun arrows and these will do an extra 20 points of damage but you have to have the silver arrows first so these are not something that you want to use as your everyday go-to arrows the extra damage you get from from the sun the uh, sun effect it only applies to the undead as you can see burns undead targets for 20 points of sun damage this this effect will not apply to living they'll still take damage from the arrow it's still you know the bow and arrow they'll still take damage from that but this won't apply to it so even though 17 damage is good and you say well that's better than a lot of things in game that's almost on par with uh, ebony arrows it's not something you're going to want to use every day because the crafting recipes are a bit expensive. You know, six firewood and six uh, silver ingots just to make 12 arrows. It's, it's a little expensive, but it's a stepping stone to making the sun arrows, which are really helpful. So, in addition to that, we also have an enchantment that we can apply onto the silver bow and we should be able to apply this enchantment to any weapon and that's what we're going to test right now and this enchantment is a sun damage enchantment and i think i have an iron here i got an iron dagger with it right here nope that's undead flea uh where is it here we go undead take 12 points of sun damage this number should change depending on your enchanting skill but we have to disenchant this first So now we can put it on a silver bow, which is ideal because the silver bow still has the silver weapon script. And there it is, NSW Sun Damage. Now this text right here, extra damage against undead, I may remove this text. Not the script, the script will still apply, but I may remove this text. If you remember... Uh, through the companions quest line you get the silver swords silver great swords it says the same thing down here extra damage against undead or i think it says especially effective against undead but because that text is there any enchantment you put on it doesn't show up and, and that really bothers me because i'm constantly in my playthrough i'm constantly upgrading weapons when my enchanting skill gets better i want to upgrade my weapons with better enchantments but not being able to see the enchantment i don't know when i need to do that so I may go ahead and remove this text. But let's see if we can apply this to other weapons. Here's an elven bow. We should be able to. And it's given 26 points. Let's try... Let's see. I already have an enchantment. Don't I have an enchantment on that? Here, let's put on this Nordic sword. So the enchantment's working. So now we got to try something else here because these arrows were not showing up before. Let's try. Let's just try the silver arrow first. These weren't showing up before. If I shot them into the wall or something. Yeah, they're still dis. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's that's the wrong, that's the wrong text, and I can't see it, but at least I can pick it up. There it is. Okay, well the text is wrong, but at least it's showing up. Let's try the, let's try a sun arrow. Then we get done with this, we're gonna go out and uh, beat the crap out of some Draugr.
Okay, these are still disappearing. Okay, I want to make these so they, they can, can be recovered. Looked like it went right through that wall, didn't it? So this has a, you can see the, the sun effect, or the sun visual. It looks like a ball of sunlight. That's the, uh, that's the effect from Oriole's bow. But those visuals and the sounds can all be changed pretty evenly, pretty easily. That's something I'm still messing around with. I'll get it to where I like it at some point. It takes a little bit of time because I run everything through MO2, so it you know I have to shut down the creation kit to come in game and test it, and then I have to bring up creation kit all over again. It takes some time, so it's a little bit of a slow process, but. Okay, so when we add everything up, here's what we have if we're going up against Undead. We've got the damage of the weapon. In this case, this bow has been improved once. These haven't. So they're doing 13 damage. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I think my archery skill is like 40-something. What is it? Yeah, who cares? Um, so this number is going to change, of course, depending on your perks and skills and other marksman enchantments you might have you may have uh, but it's you're also you also had the damage from the arrow whatever type of arrow you're doing so that that's going to be there no matter what it doesn't matter what kind of target it is you also have with the silver bow you have the extra damage against undead which is 20 points if you put the sun damage enchantment on it you're going to have and that would be this one. Right? No, this one. Okay, I should have changed the name on it. Oh, well. You also have the sun damage enchantment on top of that. And if you use the sun arrows, you have the extra damage from that. So in this case, the arrow... The sun damage arrows, these are doing 20 points on top of this. So this arrow right now is doing 37 points of damage. This bow is doing 13. So we're doing, um, wait, how much is this one? 37. That's 50. And wait, I'm missing something here. <laughs> 13 23 um the enchantment is doing i don't know how much what what was i getting on this enchantment it's getting 26 there so it's about 50 plus 37 there uh, we're doing somewhere around 66, 67 damage against undead with these items. So, let's get some undead and see what happens. These are low-level Draugr, and I think I set the difficulty to add it, so they should drop pretty fast. If I can hit them. Alright, let's see about getting something uh, a little bit tougher. I'm going to try a different console command. I should have looked up some other ones. I meant to do that before and I didn't. So I'm going to try this one. This one sometimes brings up a mix of Draugr. It sometimes it brings up mages. So if it does, then I'll just edit that part out and try a different one. 
We'll try it. Death Lord here. See what kind of damage this can do. Stay off of me. Yeah, a little shot in the face there. Come on, you gotta be better than that, Cupcake. Well, I don't know if it showed it there, but this, uh, this damage has, and I think I put it on the, uh, on the enchantment for the bow, it has, it has a two second effect. And the way it's set up, it'll do, over the course of two seconds, it'll start out, you know, whatever you get for the enchantment. I think we've got 26 points on this one. It'll start out there, and then it'll taper down to uh, one quarter of whatever that number is at the end of two seconds. And the way this one's set up, you got to kind of look at it uh, on a curve. Most of the damage is being done within, I'd say, the first half second or so. It tapers off pretty dramatically, and then it... It levels out a little bit, and it's just more of a gradual taper down the rest of the two seconds. So what that means is the enchantment is 26 points. It's actually doing more than that. Even though it's two seconds, it's not doing 52 points. It's not double that, but it's more than 26 because of the way that taper is built into it. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can see I tried that script, and I got those idiots. Let's see if... Uh, Let's try this without. Let's just use some uh, other regular arrows here. Let's see if we can notice that effect with the silver, with the enchantment on this bow. And watch his health. Might not be able to see it because he has some pretty significant health. Can't really see it. Dum 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 dum. Hey man, have you seen this? I think the bow and the arrow is doing more damage. That has nothing to do with the Silver Weapons mod. I just happen to like that. That's from my uh, Destruction Mage's Compendium mod, if you're interested. Okay, well, I still need a little bit of work to do to get the, the sounds and the visuals where I want it, but it's obvious that the extra damage being applied to the arrows is working. I've already tested the silver weapons before in the last video to make sure that the script is actually working and it is and now we've got the enchantment on top of that so on added difficulty with with the uh, silver bow and these uh, sun arrows and the sun damage enchantment that's on the silver bow you can see we, we took out a drugger death overlord fairly quickly uh, let's try just for the fun of it. That's setting him on fire. You know, I'm going to have to make a push spell. So I don't have to keep shouting all the time. Why 
Oh, look at that move. I've never seen him do that before. And this is not a silver weapon that I'm using right here. This is... The damage he's taken is just... Well, the damage he's taken is from the enchantment and what little bit of... Oh, let's go ahead and take a look. My one-handed skill is, is pretty weak. 21. No perks. So, yeah, you know, on adept difficulty, I took him down pretty quick with uh, just the, the sun damage enchantment. So... That's going to be it for now. Still got a little bit of work to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the crafting recipes for the silver swords and silver great swords. That's something you can get through the companions, but there's you can't make them. So it's like every time I play the game, if I think, well, I'm, I may want to use these, I collect as many of those as I can because after that's done, I may not be able to get any more. And I had one playthrough before where I was using a silver great sword for a long time. This is my standard everyday weapon. The damage was decent. Uh, the weight was really good. It only had a weight of like 12. So I was able to swing it pretty fast. And the extra damage against the undead was helpful. And, uh, you know, I grabbed a few of those. And I would just enchant the new one as my enchanting skill got better. But there was a... I only had so many, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and add those crafting recipes. So you can make as many as you want. So that's all it's going to have. The bow, swords, great swords, and of course the silver arrows, and uh, which you need to make the sun arrows. And uh, I'll, give a, I'll give a little more look at the, at the uh, ingredients that are required to make the sun arrows. I kind of like having the ancestor moth wing. It has, really has nothing to do with sunfire, but it's something you have to get in the Dawnguard DLC. So there's kind of that sunfire, oriole, undead tie-in kind of thing there. Torch bugs because they illuminate. So you can kind of think of that as a source of illumination. I don't know. Plus, it's not something that you have ever have a ton of. Like I said, they're, they're only out for like three hours in the evening. I think they're out from like, 8 p.m. to 11 and um, you know there's not a lot of them around you have to really work it getting a stockpile of those so I don't know we'll see anyway that's it for now thanks for watching there should be another update once uh, I get everything finalized and uh, I'll see about maybe putting this on the Nexus so all right see you later